For question 11, we are going to simplify this rational expression. You can just think about this as a fraction. He says, for all non-zero r, t, and z, the reason that they say non-zero r, t, and z is because notice that they have r, t, and z on the denominator. They just want to make sure that none of these r, t, and z represents a uh, zero. Otherwise, you will be um, doing something over zero, which is undefined. But don't let this bother you too much. So let's get to work. Number 11. I have 16 r to the third power, t, c to the 5 power, over negative 4, r, t to the third power, c squared. So we can just simplify the number first. And what I mean by that is just this part. 16 over 4. And they are just like a regular fraction, right? So 16 over 4, we can reduce that. This is going to be 4 because 4 goes into 16 4 times and 4 goes into 4 once. And notice the 16 was positive and the 4 was negative. So the result is going to be negative, right? So I'm going to put a negative in front of the fraction. And then I have, will have a big fraction bar like this. I have 4 on the top over 1 which doesn't really matter, so I'm not going to bother to write it yet. Okay, so now let's move to the r to the third power over r, because they are the like terms. You can think about them as the like terms. So we can look at the same variables and try to simplify if possible. And let's think about what does r to the third power mean. r to the third power means r times r times r. And once we have 3r multiplying to the, together, notice that I have one, one r on the top and this r on the bottom. We can cancel them out. This and this r can be cancelled. That will leave us with two r's on the top. And you have two r's multiplying together, you get r to the second power. r to the second power. Another way to look at how do we get um, the two is, you can look at this as r to the uh, third power and r to the first power. And the reason that we get r to the second power is because, uh, let me write this down right here. r to the third power over r to the first power, I can just do 3 minus 1. You take the exponent on the top over, uh, minus the um, exponent on the bottom. So we still have the r, but I need to do the exponent on the, on the top, which is 3, minus the exponent on the bottom, which is 1. And that gives us r to the positive 2 which that's states on the top, r to the second power. Okay, move to the t's. Now, t over t to the third power. So let me write down what does t, uh, t to the third power mean. That means I have three of the t's multiplying together, t times t times t. And then, just like the r's, I have one t on the top and this t on the bottom. So I can cancel this t out, right? So I have no more t on the top, but I have two t of the t I have two of the t's on the denominators, they are multiplying. So that's a result of t to the second power. And let me take a look of uh, how did I get that. So there's another way to do this as well. You can look at this as t to the first power over t to the third power. Right? t to the first power over t to the third power. So as what we did with the r, what we can do is let me write down the t first, and then take the exponent on the top, which we have the 1 in this case, minus the exponent on the bottom, which is 3. So 1 minus 3. And 1 minus 3 is, of course, equal to negative 2. So I have t to the 1 minus 3, which is t to the negative 2 power. And negative 2 exponent means we have 1 over t to the square, t to the second power. Whenever you have a negative exponent, Whenever you, have a, whenever you have a negative exponent, you can just bring it down to the denominator and make the pow power positive. So that's exactly what happened here. So either way, you can use the formula by just subtracting the exponent, or you can just write down what does t to the third power mean, so which is three of the t's multiplying together, and then see how many you can cross out and how many is left. So for the third one, for the z, I have z to the five, over c to the second power. Let me do it with the exponent way, right? the rule of exponent way. So if you look at this together, so 
uh, c to the phi over c to the second, I can just write this as z to the third power. And how did I get the third power? Because I just do 5 minus 2, which is a positive 3. Right? This 3 is just um, 5 minus 2, which is equal to positive 3. So it stays on the top. So let me rewrite the answer much uh, in a better form. So all this is negative 4r squared z to the third power over t to the second power. Okay, and let me take a look of what we have. What are what's our choices? I have the t to the second power on the bottom, so that's choice B, right? That's answer choice B. So box my answer or fill in the select answer. That's it.